good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty much what we have for you guys is basically like an, an update style video. Kind of like I got a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you guys and tell you about and update you guys on. And I really didn't know what to do. I didn't want to spread it into a bunch of different videos. So I figured, go ahead, plan it out. It's a good Sunday video, you know, a good relaxing day. Just update you guys, let you guys know what I have coming forward. On the channel, new video ideas, a bunch of custom stuff. We got a lot of things coming in that I want to let you guys know about. And that's pretty much what I want to do here today. So I have a list of things here that I want to rattle off and I guess we'll start with the things at the top. I'm sure a lot of you guys are already wondering, you know, where is the next pick fed? Where is Vindication episode 16? So pretty much what I'm trying to tell you guys in this video is that it's coming along. You know, I'm trying my very best. Obviously, once Hell's Gate was posted, I think it was just at the beginning of the quarantine and stuff like that. And then from there, you know, I was stuck at home. I was doing stuff and you would think that it'd be like, oh yeah, perfect time to do pick fed stuff and all that. But you know, I have my newborn son and my wife was at home along with my son because of her missing work. Obviously she gets, she was on maternity leave so she had that time off and it was just a good time to spend with family. It was a good time to relax and you know focus and get stuff while I was still posting and filming videos and stuff. The stress of the pick fed and you know everything like that that went into Hell's Gate was a good time to relax and get some things done, spend time with family and get everything like that. So since everything has started to come full circle I have worked on it some but a lot of things have been on getting some figures done like you guys can see here Bray Wyatt and Kenny Omega are both a bloody mess. I was working on getting a Kenny Omega finished. I had some script writing that we were talking about getting done as well. And just on top of the whole show taking a big toll on me physically and mentally. Like, mainly mentally, obviously, you know, physically, you may have some back aches and pains and stuff like that. I have fractured my back before, but that has nothing to do with pick fed delays. It's more of just, you know, being kind of like, I was so into that show and so invested in that show, I think it was better for me to take some time off from that, get my mind right, get the script right. You know, me and Brad had to be separated for a little bit there with quarantine too, so we couldn't finish the script. Some figures still were in the works of getting completed. I still have to complete some stuff, which is kind of the big delay on Vindication. And so I am going hard on it. I just got to get the final touches finished on it, and it will be posted. I am super excited to get back to the pick fed. It was just a really nice long break there. I am super ready to get on the final road to My Damn Nation right here with the last three episodes of Vindication, last three episodes of MDT Live, and then roll ourselves on to end of My Damn Nation. It's going to be really sick. It's going to be the most over-the-top thing of all time. But it was just super nice to get that break in there, spend time with family, spend time with my newborn son, and just have a good quarantine break. But we're back, we're ready to go, and I wanted to get that in here. So that is why you see the, the Wyatt Colt and stuff like that. Another thing that I wanted to touch on is that coming forward, I want to get this stuff out of the way right here. Would you guys be interested? I actually put it up on my community tab already today, earlier, if you guys are interested in this. I want to know down in the comment section below if you guys would be intrigued to hear me review Raw and SmackDown every single week. So every week, it would be just like my pay-per-view reviews. I bring it up and we would cover Monday Night Raw on Tuesday mornings, I do believe. And then on Saturday mornings, my Friday Night Smackdown reviews would go up. So on Monday nights, I would review it or I'd put it up that night. It would either be that night, I would put it up super late or I would wait until the following morning. But we have Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown. You guys can let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Let me know down below if you guys want to see me cover Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown every single week. While it would be difficult to get it every single week, I would do that for you guys. If you guys wanted to watch that, you wanted to hear my thoughts and opinions on everything. You guys pretty much hear what I have to say when we get into the pay-per-view builds and stuff like that. I give you my thoughts and opinions, but if you want a week-by-week -week analysis, fantasy booking, all kinds of stuff like that that dives deeper into just Raw and SmackDown, that is something that I would do for you guys. If you guys want to see that, I will re I will review Raw and SmackDown if you would like. I've tried it in the past. I don't think I had really the following or the audience that wanted to see me review it at that time, but if I have it now, I would gladly do so if you guys want to see that. So please let me know down in the comment section below. Go vote on the community tab. Let me know your thoughts on reviewing Raw and SmackDown. While the shows are kind of hard to sit through at the moment due to the, you know, the pandemic and stuff like that, we will find time. I will gladly do that for you guys. Just let me know down in the comment section and on the community tab. So that is why I have the Universal Champion and the WWE Champion here represented. I have caught moments of Raw and SmackDown, and it seems like the shows have gotten a little bit better. While you do have your garbage from here to there, it seems like the shows did pick up a little bit, and uh, if you guys want to hear me expand on that in broader detail, you guys can either follow me on Twitter or stick to the Monday Night and Friday Night SmackDown reviews that could be coming soon to the channel. Just let me know. Another thing I wanted to touch on, guys, is that I am in the process of making my wife a custom figure. Now, this is what I got so far. I went to Walmart yesterday, and I picked up this Trish Stratus and Lita Battle Pack, and I'm not saying I'm going to use these head sculpts or these bodies or anything, but it just hit me the other day. I was messaging with BEW, uh, one of the best customizers in the world, and I was like, you know what, bro? We need to make my wife a custom figure to have for the pick beds, to have 
have for any other videos that we want to do and maybe we could do it where she takes a look at it herself that'd be a funny video to do and so we're working on getting the process filled out and so I picked up this Trish Stratus head sculpt possibly to use for it and then I thought about using this Lita pot I don't know I'm just gonna let BEW do his magic but I gotta find a base head sculpt that he can work on and make it look more like her because I'm not gonna make some crappy looking custom figure I want the freaking figure to be as beautiful and as amazing as my wife is and uh, that's a pretty big challenge right there good luck with that but we're gonna we're gonna attempt it we're gonna see what we can do so I did want to touch on that and let you guys know that that is in the works I know a lot of people have asked me about that in the past another thing that I wanted to touch on is that the custom championship the custom you guys know the MDT custom championship where we're gonna give it to the best custom of the month and then the MDT fix-up championship those are both in the works I'm still working on designs and stuff like that as well as an alley cat memorial battle royal trophy that will be on the line at my damn nation that is also in the works too so you guys can look forward to seeing that in an upcoming video along with those two championships we will have that little trophy there with the cat statue I can't wait to work on that I think that is going to be freaking amazing but that is some custom stuff that we have in the works and then I wanted to show you this right here because I got to explain it in the fiend review I got to explain a little bit in the fiend review but I didn't get to fully cover it but right here is the one fiend okay so here on the left is my fiend that's good that doesn't have any problems it's actually fantastic and perfect from head to toe this fiend over here I'm probably going to have to get some sort of voucher for because out of the packaging guys this is what I got you guys can see it's pretty much perfect um, the right shoulder is a little bit loose but look at this left shoulder right here you guys can see how it's kind of out right there it will not push in and it will not go up and you can see how loose that is and then like look at this right here it is completely gone like this is not being fit like I don't know I, I'm gonna try it we're gonna try it I don't know if I'm gonna do it on surgery or what I may have to crack this torso get in here and do some different things but I think there's something wrong with it to where this will just it will not bend up you guys know how this arm will go up like this it will not do that it will not go to 90 degrees and back down it simply refuses to go up and it simply refuses to go down the arm is stuck out like that it's super loose and the arm pretty much wants to pop off anytime I try to push it up so that is super disappointing I don't know what I'm gonna do with that maybe I can break it down into parts and try to use it for a custom or a fix up or something but uh, I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it but I wanted to showcase that to you guys just in case you didn't get to see that to the fullest extent because that is that is not good right there that right there is unacceptable and uh, I, I, I'm pretty upset about that I, I am so glad that I ordered two of them when I did let's stand Drew McIntyre back up right here but I think the last bit of news that I have for you guys today to share on the Sunday afternoon is that I also wanted to let you guys know that my damn halls is coming back I know that it's been a little bit since we got a my damn halls episode and the battle royals coming as soon as possible too so we got a lot of content fired up ready to go pick feds and surgeries battle royals my damn halls all coming soon my damn halls I think I have some fan mail coming in we got some other things from some other people that I'm super excited to show off to you guys and I think that is about all the news I had let me go through my list real quick vindication episode 16 weekly raw and smackdown reviews wife custom figure fiend figure shoulder my damn halls returning and then we have the custom alley cat memorial battle royal trophy that I'm working on as well as the my damn championship or my damn custom championship that will go to the custom championship of the month and then so on and so forth and I think actually elite series 77 is on the way as well as well as backlash coming up this this next weekend and NXT in your houses tonight so just a lot of ish coming in I will not be reviewing I don't usually review NXT shows because I feel like uh, the audience isn't as big I know we have hardcore wrestling fans but the audience for NXT is not as large as Monday and Smackdown and then you have backlash next weekend so we have backlash style videos coming this week as well as elite series 77 has shipped I think it's on its way and we'll get the rest of elite series 77 reviewed for you guys ranked and all that good stuff that we like to do and if you guys missed out on the fiend review from the other day definitely go check that out but I think that is all the news that I have for you guys that I wanted to run through and get out to you guys but that is gonna oh yeah I meant to say this Ronda Rousey right here the reason I have it out is because I wanted my wife's figure to be just as articulate as this I want it to be really nice to where she can kick people's ass too and mold around and do whatever the hell she wants so why I have why I won't be using like a Ronda Rousey head sculpt I do want to use a similar like ultimate edition body or something so that that way she can kick everybody's ass like uh, this ultimate edition Ronda Rousey but anyways guys I'm getting the hell out of here I hope you guys have a blessed afternoon thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram and Twitter my damn toys and I will see you guys in the, in the next video thank you